We're living the dream, aren't we, Boyley? It's like camping. It's like being on holiday without the weather. Well, with a different type of weather. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you, Pete. Your boat's orange. Doesn't really work. Improvisation of to keep the smoke out of the basher with the inverted vortex from the first umbrella and then a brolly over the fire. This is extreme bushcraft. <laughs> <laughs> How precious can you get? Pull out the brolly. Paddle, boys. How British is this? Very. Until the brolly goes the other way out. Bring, your, bring it around to your left. The old man's boat. Wisdom comes with age. Not a bad way to travel, is it? Oh. Really? Oh, that was a ghost. Oh dear, wind's turning. Last night on the island, we've had five nights on here now. It's got really windy, there's a strong west, uh, easterly wind coming in. Uh, we'll be up at about five o'clock in the morning. We'll canoe across this lock, and then we've got a portage to do to drag all the boats and the gear across, and then across a small locket. Um, back to the car and the trailer, get everything loaded up, and then we'll uh, head into Hullapool, which is about an hour or so's drive from here. And uh, there's a hotel there where we can get breakfast all being well as long as we're not too late. We'll have breakfast and uh, then probably a nine hour drive back home. But it's been an absolute fantastic trip. It's the fourth year I think we've done this now in this area. And there's no other area like it. It's a tremendous place. It is known as the last known wilderness in the UK as I keep saying. And that's because people can't actually get here. Um, you have to be able to use some sort of boat or canoe and then there's walking and the portages and everything that goes with it and there's all the problems with the mosquitoes and bringing all your kit and everything else but uh, that means it's uh, it's quite unique and you don't get many people here nice morning for it wow <laughs> 
That's a neat pack boat, look at that. Flat packed. Flat packed, the barge. Low centre of gravity. <coughs> look at this. In. Here's how you <laughs> should pack a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Dan's <laughs> barrel. I like the way the packet of the eye is point as well. The portage begins. <coughs> That's how you move the canoe. A harness and everybody dragging it together. And as you can see, it's very boggy. This little sort of light baton, too, tiny little pocket torch, is amazingly bright for filming. Look, the proper torch I have that fits on top of the camera, the battery's gone, and there's no warning. So I've been using this all morning and the indicator light I didn't realize until now but it goes from green to amber to red so it's just gone on to amber but I've been using it on full power to do some filming brilliant little piece of kit the final portage to the van and we make it back to the car and the car's all in one piece First boat's up, we're just going to get the rest. And the sun's just coming up over the horizon. What an amazing trip. Off to the hotel now, see if we can get a nice breakfast. And a posh poo. <laughs> Goodbye. For another year. I love it, you have And at the end, we have to have our traditional breakfast. We'll